Alright, welcome back everybody. We're talking about, we're in module number four now, and we're talking about how to make a VBA function. Access provides built-in and custom functions. So, uh, we're going to look at, uh, look at both of those and how to go ahead and utilize the built-in functions that Access provides and also build their own if uh, build their own functions if when access does not provide the, the proper one so anyway uh, here we go we're looking at a our form here and then move the screen up a bit so you can see it uh, we have several little command buttons here one to insert a date and when we insert it we're actually calling upon a a, uh, a built-in function that's called date and so insert date inserts the current date which is today and now if I want to find out date plus 30 I can call a custom function that I build so let's say you want to know 30 days from today I click calculate and up comes the button the up comes the date uh, 30 days from now and is null okay and by the way I'm going to show you the the code behind all both of these and before I actually, actually go on I'm going to show you the code right now so we have the date uh, it's really easy to insert a date okay uh, let's see if I can find the <clears throat> the code here and uh, by the way this code is going to be on the blog at vbahowto.com vbao2.com we're talking about how to call built-in and custom VBA functions in an application and how to create a custom VBA function so here uh, but date click okay built it's a built-in function enter today's date and in the text box we're gonna just provide date and notice that when I type this uh oh when I type this date open print close print bang enter understand so it's a built-in function now when I click calculate something else happens okay this is a custom function and what I need to do is enter a, a value in the TXC end date Okay, so I'm creating a custom function called net30 and I'm using the value, the date value from me.txt start date and net30 start date as date so I'm actually putting a, I'm declaring a type I'm saying I want a date passed to me and I'm returning a date that's uh, what a function is it, is passed a value and it returns a value it returns a date value so I'm dimensioning it returns 30 days beyond the date passed I dimension a portion of memory to hold the date variable I say the start date is equal to start date plus 30 and then I'm going to say net 30 equals my new new date right here okay so and uh, I'm returning the value that's what I'm getting up here net 30 and now uh, one other thing let me go real quick the is null is a uh, is a built-in function validate entry blank entries are not not allowed so I'm gonna fill it in with some scribble scratch and thank you for your entry so it tests if the field is blank or not convert to uppercase so I have my lowercase can and now I click the button and I'm converting to uppercase using a UK function left I have a Lou whatever Luger and the left portion of that left four characters are LOUG and again those are going to be at the blog at vbahowto.com I have uh, my left function my is null okay wherever that is and validate 
validate is null and I'm going to the my convert I convert everything to uppercase using the UK so I just some of these are built in and one of them is a is a function uh, is a custom function and you could use the custom function in a query just so you know and thanks for watching make sure you come out and check out the the blog and get the code for this for this video be sure to rate or comment on this video and uh make sure you subscribe thank you very much bye